tower blocks across the UK are wrapped in Grenfell style cladding, Grenfell style insulation. Only now have they said they will ban combustible cladding. It's a limited ban and it does not apply to existing buildings. Nearly a year after the fire, they offered an estimated 400 million pounds to replace cladding on social housing tower blocks. That did nothing for private blocks, student residences, buildings under 18 meters high, buildings with other kinds of combustible cladding, hospitals, schools or workplaces. And when it is removed, people are still often left at risk. While buildings are stripped off, naked to the elements, you can freeze inside. After every tragedy that happens in this country, we hear, shouldn't have happened, won't happen again, change needs to be done. Well then bloody take that crap off the building and put A1 non-combustible material on there. It's as simple as that. Being warm and safe in your home is not a privilege, it's a necessity. And the Fire Brigade's union will fight and campaign for legislation and law to be changed. People like myself, disabled people, none of us are able to react quickly in an emergency, such as when a fire alarm goes off. We end up living where we are placed, in many instances, in high-rise flats. When the Grenfell fire happened, Salford Council and the City Mayor told us clearly that all dangerous cladding would be removed from all affected high-rise blocks as soon as possible. Cladding has now been removed from the lower three floors of each block. Those flats are now wrapped in cold, wet insulation and are set to remain that way through the winter. I live in Salford. I had one lady stop me the other day since Thursday to the Tuesday. She's paid £39 in electric to keep warm. She's wrapping herself in a blanket. No, it's not cold at the moment. What's it going to be like in the winter? They are petrified. People living in the rest of the 22 floors are still anxious about the safety of their homes. A couple of weeks ago, we had an action outside t uh, City Hall. And we got the uh, people inside City Hall to raise the issue with housing association bosses, why they weren't sharing their fire risk assessments. And they actually sat there and said that they weren't releasing them because the tenants really didn't have the capacity to understand these fire risk assessments. The standards and practices that led to the Grenfell fire must not go on to cost more lives. Safe! Safe! Flooding! Flooding! Insulation now! Safe! Safe! Flooding! Flooding! Insulation now!